Hello and welcome. Today we are playing Quest for Glory, the first one, so you want to be a hero. Because why not? It was a great game back then and it still is a great game. So, let's begin. We don't need to see the we don't need to see these. Uh, I'm going to pick Thief. Because for three reasons. Thieves, they are cool in games. And uh, as a thief, I can pick, I can get every skill. I mean, I don't have to leave any zeros in here. Uh, if you pick a magic user, uh, you can't take two skills. And if you take a uh, uh, the fighter, you're gonna miss one skill. But as a thief, you can get all the skills. And I'm gonna dodge and weapon use. That's good. Name is going to be Ross Mo. That's a good. That's a good strong name for a thief. Okay, let's start the game. This seems like a quiet little town. On the porch ahead of you are two people. The standing one is large, rather ugly, and playing with a yo-yo. The seated person smoking a pipe looks like he might be the sheriff. The man with the pipe greets you. Welcome to our town. You are lucky to have made it down from the mountains before the snow blocked the pass again. It's gotten pretty dangerous outside of town, I understand. Many monsters have been trapped around here with the late snow. Uh, between them and the brigands, we certainly could use a hero around here. I am Sheriff Schultz Meisterson, and this is Otto von Goon, my assistant. What do you call yourself? Rasmo. Good luck in your quest, Rasmo. Okay, let's chat for a while. I'm gonna ask about Otto. Otto, Otto. Otto is a big help to me, the sheriff tells you. He's very smart for a goon. His prisoners only suffer a few broken bones when he grabs them. It took a bit of doing to teach him to bring prisoners back alive, but he hardly ever forgets now. Let's ask about Sheriff. Sheriff advice. Why? Well, that's me. Yeah, that's an, enough. Of, uh, that's enough talking. Um, this is going to be a long play or a walkthrough. Uh, this is not a speed run. I'm going to take my time and enjoy because the nostalgia is. I'm, I'm having a great time. Like, yeah. This used to be one of my favorites back in the time. Back in the 90s, I think. Oh, uh, this adventurous guild hall reminds you of the one in your hometown. The traditional moose head and other stuffed monsters, Saurus, Troll, Griffin, Dragon, Cheetor, and the Terrible Antwerp adorn the walls. You see the registration book on the desk and the bulletin board full of job listings. The man seated by the fire must be the guildmaster. He's snoring. Okay, let's fill the uh, read the book and sign it. 
look at book. The last entry was made several years ago. It says Baronet Bernard von Spielberg killed a troll near the Flying Falls on this 23rd day of October. And then let's sign book. You sign your name into the adventurer's log book with a flourish. Okay. Then let's see the quests. Six quests. The first one. Reward for return of lost ring. Inquire at the healers. Okay. And then this poster is rather dusty and faded. The picture is of a small child with braids. Reward of 50 gold coins for the safe return of Elsa von Spielberg. Inquire at Spielberg Castle Gates. Okay. Then, reward of 30 gold coins for the capture or death of the brigand warlock. Description, short, ugly and wears brightly colored robes. Has habit of laughing continually. Inquire at Spielberg Castle Gates. And then, wanted, brigand leader, description, unknown appearance, wears a cloak, must provide proof of leader's identity. Reward of 60 gold coins and title of hero of the realm, inquire at Spielberg Castle Gates. Notice, spell components needed, cash or trade for potions, inquire at the healers. This poster seems to have been here a while. It has a picture of a handsome but arrogant young man. Reward of 50 gold coins for information leading to the return of Baronet Bernard von Spielberg. Inquire at Spielberg Castle Gates. Again, the gates. We need to visit the gates. Okay, that's done. Let's look at the heads. Look at dragon. Even in death, this monster reminds awesome. The plague reads Dragon slain by Baron Stefan von Spielberg. Is it plague or black you black you black I don't know. But you know what I mean. Uh, let's look at the G Tor. The head is like a panther's but with a strong human like quality. It is still rather frightening. The plague Plague. Uwe. Reads Cheetor slain by Wolfgang Ad Abentor. 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 Well, anyway, Wolfgang. Let's look at the troll. This one here. It looks like it must have been a particularly nasty troll. You wouldn't want to meet him in a dark forest. The plague reads <laughs> Troll slain by Wolfgang Abentor. I would like to know how it's pronounced. This and uh where's the plague black you platinum over here? Okay. Oh I can use the mouse pointer. I don't have to oh cool. This crossbreed of eagle and lion could have torn a man apart when it was alive. The plague reads Griffin slain by Wolfgang Abentor. Toyer. Abentor. Maybe. Ah, oh, I can use mouse. This is certainly a weird one. You never seen anything quite like it. The plague you plague you kill. Reads Antwerp slain by two guys from Andromeda. I think that's some kind of joke. I don't get it. But anyway. Uh, you never saw a purple saurus before you came to Spielberg, but it looks like a really stupid monster. The black you reads saurus slain by Hans Halfwitten. And then the moose. The black you under the moose says courtesy of Sierra Online Prop Department. Ha uh -huh. That's funny. Actually, I do like the humor in this game. Let's ask about dragon. Ah, 
I was so busy I didn't notice you come in. Welcome, welcome. It is so seldom that we have a new adventurers here. Most people think this valley is cursed. Let's ask the, about the dragon again. One day years ago, a pair of dragons tried to take over our valley. We adventurers rode out to meet them. I can still see Stefan von Spielberg charging forward on his black horse. He slew the one whose head adorns the wall above our fireplace. The other one flew off. People say that they can sometimes see that other dragon flying high overhead, but it has never dared attack us again. Okay. Let's ask about cheetor. Watch out for cheetors. I bear the scars of my last fight with one of this one to this day. Let's ask about troll. It's been a while since Schultz and I killed the one on the wall. It is fortunate that few trolls remain. They're deadly. Let's ask about the phone. What's like this? I remember the day I killed one. It was the biggest one I had ever seen. I put up a tough fight, but I was tougher. It put up put up a tough fight, but I was tougher. You can see the result on the wall. Let's ask about Antwerp. One year, this valley was overrun by those odd and terrible monsters. Schultz and I fought long and hard to eliminate them completely. We might have failed even so, had it not been for those two peculiar tourists who came to our air. That's a reference to something, but I don't know what. If you do, hit a comment. Let's ask about the Saurus. Oh, those are nothing. Anyone can kill a Saurus. Yeah, we'll see. Let's ask about the Moose. That was the most vicious moose I ever ran into. Nearly bit my nose off. Huh. Cool. Let's ask about the quests. You know, that reminds me... Uh, okay. That reminds me very little of the time old Schultz and I... Yeah. Wait a minute. It'll come to me. Let's ask about... Uh, down. You know, that remind... Okay. Does he have anything else to talk about? Let's ask about... What was his name? I am Wolfgang Abenteuer, Guildmaster of this hall. Ask about hall. This is, of course, where an adventurer can find out where there is a need for someone brave and courageous. There are jobs on the bulletin board over there. Uh, it is also a good place to talk about adventures, adventures on a cold afternoon. We used to play cards here once a week as well, but there are too few adventurers in Spielberg anymore. They all died at the hands of monsters or brigands, or they just became too old. Let's ask about jobs. This is of course where an adventurer can find out where there is a need for someone brave and courageous. There are jobs on the bulletin board over here. Yeah, I think I had it with talking with him. We are gonna head out. Run. And next stop is the magic guild house or whatever. This music is a bit annoying. I am Zara, and my companion is Damiano. The items in this shop are designed for those skilled in the use of magic. We have very little for one such as you, who have not been initiated. But what we have could prove useful. Let's ask about the When you have mastered nine spells, have the power to cast them all and proven yourself worthy by accomplishing a great deed. Then you must undergo initiation to become a full witcher. I'm not sure, but I think that if you're not a magic user like the 
you can the characters class you pick from the beginning you can't have nine spells you can have only eight not sure though but i think it's like that there is a place in the distant sound where you must journey but first you must become a hero here cool i'm actually here for a reason let's ask about spells we sell several magical spells on study scrolls you may purchase flame dart for 60 silver fetch for 40 silver or the open spell for 30 and now i'm gonna buy the fetch oh the scrolls we sell are magical you have but to read the spell and you will learn it i also know that you can find a wonderful spell if you learn the secret of Irana's peace that's what we're gonna do pretty soon oh yeah let's um buy fetch may this aid you on your quest as you read the spell scroll the spell is ingrained in your mind ingrained that's a nice word new for me i think okay let's head out <clears throat> now we are going to go to the healer's place to do some quests yes we are the breeze is cool but you feel a shiver deeper than just the cold you are on your own in a very dangerous place the bright smell of fresh herbs mingles with the aroma of wood smoke as you near the hut by the side of the road uh, okay here's the creature looks more like a small flying lizard than a bird there's the nest here and the ring is in there i need to get it down i can climb and get it or i can get rocks and throw them or i can use this fetch spell and i think i'm gonna use the fetch spell let's see the character sheet my throwing is bad i could use some practice in that my climbing is bad i could use some practice in that and magic is bad all three of these I need more uh, practice in them. But let's use the rocks to throw. Yeah. Let's get rocks. A few more. Okay, let's throw them. Throw rocks. Rock first one uh, this is going to take a while hey. I wonder how much does it take not too many I think uh, the fetch spell that's the fastest one it always succeeds at the first time uh, this rock throwing it takes a while and I think the climbing takes most of the time oh come on drop no please huh get rocks and throw rocks yes you see the glinting object in the remains of the nest let's pick it up you pick up a shiny gold ring yeah that's good uh, now I'm gonna this is one of the places you can practice climbing I'm gonna use the time to climb I want to max out as many skills as I can in this playthrough because I am going to continue with this character in the quest for glory 2. 
It takes a lot of skill and practice to climb this tree. I know. Okay, let's rest for a while. It takes a lot of skill and practice to climb this tree. I know. Okay, rest. 10 minutes, rest. 10 minutes, rest. 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 Yeah, let's climb again. Climb up. There's the castle gates, by the day. By the way, over here. Yeah, this used to be one of my top 10 favorite game i mean i used to play it a lot when i was a kid i used to play it a lot when i was bigger and i've been every now and then i played this game through and the second and third one but this one i like the most i think First time I played it was at my friend's house. His brother had this one for Amiga 500. And I just had to get it myself back then. After I tried it. Wow, this is gonna take a while. You're so exhausted that everything you do hurts. Better get some rest. Yeah, let's rest for a while. 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40, 50, an hour. Uh, what's the time, by the way? Time, day. It's mid-afternoon on day one. Okay, we have enough time. Uh, climb up. There's no time limit, limit in this game. I can take all the time I want. But let's not waste the time anyway. Um, there's a VGA version of this game. If the graphics bothers, you can always pay, play the VGA version. It's actually quite pretty. I like the graphics, but I decided to play this because this has some... Oh, I climbed out. Cool. Well done. Uh, this has a uh, sentimental value for me and it has nost huge nostal nostalgic impact for me. Let's knock. This is where the healer lives. You hear the inside bolt slide open. Come on in. The fragrance of the herbs mingle with some other rather pungent odors as you step into the healer's house. Fragrance and pungence. New words. I, I learned new words. New English words in this game. Lovely day, isn't it? My, you look very healthy for an adventure. You must be new. What can I do for you? I can sell you potions if you like. I also buy spell components if you are interested in gathering some for me. Let, uh, don't mind me, I always have so much to do around here. Let's ask about the components. I will pay you for cheetah claws, troll beard, magic mushrooms and flowers from Erana's piece. Uh, flowers and mushrooms are easy. Cheetah claws, troll beards, not so easy. Um, let's ask about potions. I make and sell healing potions, magic potions, viger potions, and undead unquit. Uh, uh, huh. Healing potion 40 silver, magic potion 60, vigor 20, undead unquit 100 silver. That's expensive. I don't need it yet, though. Uh, give a ring. Oh, thank you for finding my ring. How I missed this. Here are six golds and two healing potions for your reward. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so happy to have my ring back. You are welcome. Oh, oh dear. 
You put the reward away and tell her she is welcome as you leave to avoid being kissed again. Uh, now we are gonna go and get the flowers from Irana's piece. And we are gonna head into the forest. I'm gonna save here. There. Because I can't fight. I'm probably gonna get killed if there comes a monster and. Well, it's a goblin. Let's try. You cannot escape. The battle is on. These are so hard, these fights. I mean... Pokey, pokey, poke, 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 pokey. Uh, oh, you are so ick. Oh, come on! Restore, yeah, I know. I can't fight. I can't fight in this game either. I can't fight in Playano's Battleground or... Whiny, whiny. Boo hoo hoo. <laughs> now what? Oh, come on, man. Okay, let's practice. It. Let's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is embarrassing. Yeah, my favorite game from the 90s. I can't even... Oh, come on. I can't even play it. Oh. This is supposed to be easy. I got the heat. Ow, ow, ow. You did not see that. That was sad. Yeah, I made it. Irana's piece. Okay, let's... First, we're gonna... Actually, I wanna see him. Character sheet, stamina power, let's eat fruit, eta. The sweet juicy fruit of the tree is amazingly satisfying and refreshing. What did it do? Did it restore health, health points or... Not sure. That of mine. Uh, get flowers. These are the flowers the healer wanted. As you pick a variety of the sweet smelling flowers, they seem to glow in your hands. You put them safely away. More. You take another handful of the lovely fragrant flowers. And again. You can sell three handfuls at a time. No more. And then let's cast open. Oh! <clears throat> I forgot to buy it. Let's head to the... Save. Back to the healer. Run. Yeah, let's head back to the healer. I mean... I need to sell the flowers and then go and buy the open spell. I'm not gonna try to fight them. I'm just gonna die. In a horrible way. Goblin stabbing me with sword. That's sad. Real adventure. Uh, knock. You hear the inside bolt side open. Come on in again. I'm just here to give flowers. I forgot to read, but that's okay. Thank you. I often use these flowers 
I often use flowers from Erana's piece in potion making. Here are your silvers. You put them away. More. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. Let's see inventory. Uh, I have five food ration, one dagger. Leather armor, piece of paper, eight small rocks, lockpick, potion of two potions of healing. That's good. Uh, weight carried max. I need more strength. I can train strength at some point. Uh, what was it? I don't remember anymore. Uh, now we're gonna head back to the magic shop and buy open spell. Yes, here it is. So you return to my shop. Ask of me what you will, but keep to the point. Yes, keep in the point. Point. Buy open. May this aid you on your quest. As you read the spell scroll, the spell is ingrained in your mind. And back to the Iranus piece. Yeah, I wanna... Oh, it's almost night. What time is it? Sunset approaches. I'm actually gonna head to the... Yeah, let's head to the Iranus piece. He's still working. Save. Uh, it's hard to squeeze through the trees. God damn it. Poke Dutch. Poke uh, uh, No, poke Dutch. Dutch, no. Come on. Yeah, 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 I know. Okay, pokey, 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 die. <sighs> yeah, I'm good. Well, I made it again. Let's cast open. In a hole hidden beneath the ancient stone, someone has placed a scroll. Get scroll. The scroll vanishes even as you read the magical runes upon it. You now have the knowledge to cast a calm spell. I can use it to escape. That's cool. Um. I think I'm gonna sleep here for the night. Yeah. This is a safe place and you regenerate, I think. Well, let's see. You sleep comfortably. Oh, you awake as the sun begins to rise. Yeah, full health, full stamina. Full magic pot. Where did I get? Oh yeah, I cast a calm. I mean, open. That's cool. Yeah. Let's head to the... We are going to head to the... Hermit. Next. Save. I always save when I go to the forest. I should save before I go to the forest. It's good to save in these old games. <coughs> no, come on. The current to counter stops breaking as you approach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I can't do anything here at the moment. Let's head to south. And at this log. Oh, those are dangerous. He won't follow me here. The roar of the waterfall fills your ears, and the cold spray dampens your face as you approach. Let's drink. 
you take a drink of water from the icy mountain river. It refreshes you. Um, here you can pick rocks and throw at the door, or you can climb up. I'm gonna climb. Climb up. You look for a good place to climb. Oh, he went the first try. That was almost too easy. Almost like a climbing a ladder. Yes. Walk. It's easy to draw from here. And knock. This one is annoying, I think. You knock three times. Just a minute, just a minute. Please move away from the door. Oh, hello. Go on in. I will. Thank you. Annoying. I. It's hard to read what he says. Hello. How are you? I'm Ernry the Ermit, that's me. My father was Ermit and my mother was an Ermit, so I come by my job rightly. Don't have too many visitors. Ermits don't, you know, part of the job description. I like to see a new face, though. Good to hear another speaking besides myself. So, what can I do for you? Let's sit, let's be polite. Sit. Ask about hermit. A hermit is one what lives alone, far away from them, who talks too much or asks too many questions. Hermits are shy, quiet types, what don't say much. My brother Ari hardly says word in a year. My sister Odens hasn't spoken since she was six. I never talks at all. Yes, we hermits knows how to keep a mouth shut. Right, so it seems. Let's ask about. Can I ask about being alone? Nope. Let's ask about. Is he alone? Does he have any friends? Well, seeing as I don't get out much, I don't know much. Oh, okay. Ask about. Nope. Let's ask about. Um, what should we ask? Cave? Well, it's dark and damp and the water roars, so there's not a moment's quiet. The ceiling drips and the walls are slimy and it's always cold. But, oh well, sees I... It's... Oh, 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 yeah, oh, cool. Ask about... I know what I want from him, but I would like to... I mean, I would like to... Lead myself to the right questions by asking something else, if you know what I mean. Let's ask about... Um, what can I... Hey, my guest bed is the straw in the corner over there. You're welcome to stay if you share some rations and play some gribbits. Mika, what's what's a gribbits? I like to play the game. I can show you how to play it if you like. No, I'm not into it. Let's test out the candle. I don't have much. Okay. Let's about ask about his green fur. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how to get to the question I need to ask. Ask help. Fine. Ask about Baron. Ask about Otto. Ask about Sheriff. Okay, this is going to be boring. Ask about magic. I know some magic. Erasmus the Witcher taught me some spells. Ask. He's what put the spell on the ladder so the brigand don't get up. Then what climbs the rocks gets a door opening in their nose. Let's ask about Erasmus. He's a friend of mine. He and Fenrus. Fenrus? Who's Fenrus? I hear 
is house in something to see up north. I don't make it out much and he's pretty busy so I don't see him too often. But when we do all get together you can be sure we'll have fun. That's nice to hear. He loves to play in his games. Come on, speak properly. Ask about spells. The spells what I know is pretty simple maybe, but I like him. Uh, I can make me ladder show up and me door close and even get rid of pests using the trigger spell. You see. Ask about trigger. It's a spell what sets off other spells. Like when you want to see the ladder, you cast the trigger and there you have it. Large as life. Of course, you got to have a spell on the invisible ladder to make it visible first, but it has its uses. I think I have a scroll with the spell if you be knowing some magic that is. Yes. Scroll, please. If you be wanting to learn the spell, I'll be pleased to share with it to you. It's just getting molding in my hiding place. Do you want it? Yes. Let's see. How does Erasmus do it? Oh yes. He summons it with the trigger. Here it goes. There you have it. Good. Get scroll. The scroll vanishes even as you read the magical runes upon it. You now have the knowledge to cast a trigger spell and get out. Yeah, I'm out. See you. If you ever need a place to stay in the night and you're in the area, I could be willing to put you up for the night for some rations and a couple of games of brigade. Gribbage. 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 It's a bad place to sleep. It's cold, it's damp, you don't regenerate at all. Down, climb down. I got trigger. No. Uh, day. It's mid morning on day two. Run. Save game. Yes. And up here. Good. At the Spielberg. We could go and check the. Uh, castle. Gate. Are you speaking to me? Ask about the gate. The protocols in the me is the metal grate that bars the entrance to castle yard. I was actually supposed to ask about. Uh, was it Elsa? Elsa von Spielberg was a lovely young child with braided brown hair and bright blue eyes, like her mother, the Baroness, used to have. A large winged creature flew over the castle walls, grabbed Elsa and vanished before the guards could fire upon it. We searched everywhere for her, but to no avail. Even the jester Jorik joined the search for her. The Baron sent a troop of guards to storm Baba Yaga's hut, but I think their skulls sit atop the fence now. Elsa von Spielberg would be about 18 now. Let's ask about Baba Yaga. The powerful, power, powerful ogress, Baba Yaga, is the cause of all the Baron's misfortune. She is a vile creature who knows much magic. I need to see her. Let's about the son, was it? The Baronet Bar Bernard, Bernard von Spielberg was a proud young man with the dark hair and eyes of his father like the Baron. He rode off one morning and his horse returned without him. The horse had been raked by the claws of some large animal. There is still a reward offered for the safe return of the Baronet, but I fear he is dead. There was a third quest. Um, oh yeah, let's ask about the brigand leader. The leader of the brigands must be a good strategist. He has organized and led many raids, which result in much treasure and little loss on the part of the brigands. 
Without their leaders, the brigands would soon flee. That's the three quests. Brigands. There are now too few guards to take out the brigands, who still rob our people and drive away the traders. They hide somewhere near the edge of this valley. Okay. Uh, open gate, please. Very well. Thank you. Let's head over here to earn some money and actually my strength is now 19. Let's see if it gets up. Looking for some work? Yes, please. Good, come in here and take a rake. Yes. This is a good place to train and get some money. Not too much. I think it's five silver or something. But it's a, it's it's something. Okay, come on over here. The stable hands you some coins and says, Now you're five silvers richer. And two points of strength. That's not bad, actually. I lost some health. I lost some stamina. And I got some vitality, too. Noise. Thank you. Let's run. How much money do I have? Five gold for this. Uh, it costs one gold coin to fight this guy. It is a good practice, but um, it's expensive. It, it is. I'm not gonna do it at the moment. Maybe at some point, yeah. But I'm gonna end the episode in here. I'm gonna continue it in the near future. I hope you like it. If you did, please subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.